Isaiah chapter 39 At that time Marduk Baladan, son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent Hezekiah letters and a gift because he had heard of his illness and recovery. Hezekiah received the envoys gladly and showed them what was in his storehouses, the silver, the gold, the spices, the fine olive oil, his entire armory, and everything found among his treasures. There was nothing in his palace or in all his kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and asked, What did those men say and where did they come from? From a distant land, Hezekiah replied, They came to me from Babylon. The prophet asked, What did they see in your palace? Hezekiah said, There is nothing among my treasures that I did not show them. Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord Almighty. The time will surely come when everything in your palace and all that your predecessors have stored up until this day will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord. And some of your descendants, your own flesh and blood, who will be born to you will be taken away, and they will become eunuchs. The word of the Lord you have spoken is good, Hezekiah replied, for he thought there will be peace and security in my lifetime. Isaiah chapter 40 Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling in the wilderness Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. And I said, What shall I cry? All people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures forever. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout, lift it up, do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, Here is your God. See, the Sovereign Lord comes with power and rules with a mighty arm. See, his reward is with him and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, or with the breath of his hand marked off the heaven? Who has held the dust of the earth in a basket, or weighed the mountains and the scales and the hills in a balance? Who can fathom the spirit of the Lord, or instruct the Lord as his counselor? Whom did the Lord consult to enlighten him, and who taught him the right way? Who was it that taught him knowledge, or showed him the path of understanding? Surely the nations are like a drop in a bucket. They are regarded as dust on the scales. He weighs the islands as though they were fine dust. Lebanon is not sufficient for altar fires, nor its animals enough for burnt offerings. Before him all the nations are as nothing. They are regarded by him as worthless as less than nothing. With whom then will you compare God? To what image will you liken him? As for an idol, a metal worker casts it, and a goldsmith overlays it with gold and fashions silver chains for it. A person too poor to present such an offering selects wood that will not rot. They look for a skilled worker to set up an idol that will not topple. Do you not know 
Have you not heard? Has not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded? He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and his people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. He brings princes to naught and reduces the rulers. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown, no sooner do they take root in the ground. Then he blows on them and they wither, and a whirlwind sweeps them away like chafe. To whom will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry hosts one by one and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord? My cause is disregarded by my God. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is an everlasting God, the creator of the end of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youth grow tired and weary, even young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah chapter 41 be silent before me, you islands. Let the nations renew their strength. Let them come forward and speak. Let us meet together at the place of judgment. Who has stirred up one from the east, calling him in righteousness to his service? He hands nations over to him and subdues kings before him. He turns him to dust with his sword to wind-blown chafe with his bow. He pursues him and moves on unscathed by a path his feet have not traveled before. Who has done this and carried it through, calling forth the generations from the beginning. I, the Lord, with the first of them, and with the last, I am He. The islands have seen it and fear. The ends of the earth tremble. They approach and come forward. They help each other and say to their companions, Be strong. The metal worker encouraged the goldsmith, and the one who smoothed with the hammer spurs on the one who strikes the anvil. One say of the wielding, It is good. The other nails down the idol so it will not topple. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, you descendants of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners I called you, I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and I have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, you worm Jacob, little Israel, do not fear, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. See, I will make you into a threshing sledge, you and sharp with many teeth, you will thresh the mountains and crush them and reduce the hills to chafe. 
You will winnow them and the wind will pick them up and a gale will blow them away. But you will rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The poor and needy search for water, but there is none. Their tongues are parched with thirst. But I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake him. I will make rivers flow in barren heights and springs within the valleys. I will turn the desert into pools of water and the parched ground into springs. I will put in the desert the cedar and the acacia, the myrtle and the olive. I will set junipers in the wasteland, the fir and the cypress together. So the people may see and know, may consider and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, that the Holy One of Israel has created it. Present your case, says the Lord. Set forth your arguments, says Jacob's kingdom. Tell us, you idols, what is going to happen. Tell us what the former things were so that we may consider them and know their final outcome or declare to us the things to come. Tell us what the future holds so we may know what your gods do something, whether good or bad, so that we will be dismayed and filled with fear. But you are less than nothing, and your works are utterly worthless. Whoever chooses you is detestable. I have stirred up one from the north, and he comes, one from the rising sun who calls on my name. He treads on rulers as if they were mortar, as if you were a potter treading the clay. Who told of this from the beginning so we could know or beforehand, so we could say he was right? No one told us of this, no one foretold it, no one heard any words from you. I was the first to tell Zion, look, here they are, I gave to Jerusalem a messenger of good news. I look, but there is nothing, no one among the gods to give counsel, no one to give answer when I sp ask them. See, they are all false. Their deeds amount to nothing. Their images are but wind and confusion. Isaiah chapter 42. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth for justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his teaching the islands will put their hope. This is what the God, the Lord, says, the creator of the heavens that stretches them out gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles. To open eyes that are blind, to free captives from prison, and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my God. I will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place, and new things I declare before they spring into being. I announce them to you. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the ends of the earth. You go down to the sea, and all that is in it, you islands and all who live on it. Let the wilderness and its towns raise their voices. Let the settlements where Kedar lives rejoice. Let the people of Saga sing for joy. Let them shout from the mountain tops. Let them give glory to the Lord and proclaim his praise in the islands. The Lord will march out like a champion, like a warrior. He will stir up his zeal. With a shout, he will raise a battle cry and will triumph over his enemies. For a long time I have kept silent i have been quiet and held myself back but now like a woman in childbirth i crowd i ga i gasp and pant i'll lay waste the mountains and hills and dry up all their vegetation 
I will turn rivers into lands and dry up to the pools. I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Along from unfamiliar paths, I will guide them. I'll turn the darkness into light before them. And make the rough places smooth. And these are the things I will do. I will not forsake them. But those who trust in idols, who say to image you are our gods, will be turned back in utter shame. Hear you deaf, look you blind, and see. Who is blind by my servant and deaf like the messenger I send. Who is blind like the one and is inconvenient with me but like the servant of the Lord. You have seen many things but you pay no attention. Your ears are open but you do not listen. And please the Lord for the sake of his righteousness to make his law great and glorious. But this is a people plundered and looted, all of them trapped in pits or hidden away in prisons. They have become plunder with no one to rescue them. They have been made loot with no one to make say. Which of you will listen to this or pay close attention in time to come? Who handed Jacob over to become loot and Israel to the plunderers? Was it not the Lord against whom we have sinned? For they would not follow his ways, they did not obey his law. So he poured out on them his burning anger, the violence of war. It enveloped them in flames, yet they did not understand. It consumed them, but they did not take it to heart. Psalm chapter 40 For the director of music of David, a song. I waited patiently for the Lord. He returned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to place. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in Him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside to false gods. May Lord, my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us, none can compare. Amen. Write to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare.